my fellow graduates. I'd like to take a moment to encourage you all. We have come a long way since freshman year here, and for some of us, since preschool here. We have all persevered through the long hours of schoolwork, sports, fine arts, and other co-curriculars to reach this point. It is truly amazing, but we cannot forget those who supported us along the way. I hope you will continue to surround yourself with those who will build you up in Christ so that you can follow the path that God has planned for your life. Now, stand up, turn around, face the camera, and wave to all the people that can't be here tonight. In the time of COVID and for the rest of your life, you are not to be terrified or discouraged. Why? Because like those heroes of the faith you studied in elementary school, God will be with you wherever you go. He was with you for the last 18 years, all your years at school too. And whether you're going to enroll at a college at an East Coast Ivy League school, or you're staying in California, He promises He will be with you. And while there are many doorways in life, all are meant to walk through, not remain in. But there's no greater doorway than Christ himself, who called himself the door of the sheep. I am the door, he said. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pleasure and pasture. We pray for your time at Calvin and that it has prepared you to serve well the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ through Christ himself as you enter the next room, hallway, cathedral, hut, or home. Doors are meant to walk through, so now it is time to walk. Luke William Bonds, come on up. Luke plans to attend Kansas State University in Manhattan, Kansas, majoring in architectural engineering. Luke, Calvin Christian congratulates you. Ethan Christopher Brower. Ethan plans to attend Gonzaga University, majoring in business administration with a concentration on entrepreneurship and finance. Rebecca Jan Eichler. Plans to attend Palomar College in the fall, majoring in political science. Andrew Joseph Clem. Andrew plans to attend Loyola University in Chicago, majoring in secondary education. Watching from home in Korea, Inhe Lee. Inhe plans to attend Cornell University in Ithaca, New York, majoring in mechanical engineering. Anna Teresa Livingston. Anna plans to attend Palomar College in the fall and looks forward to exploring a number of possibilities in her future studies. Julia Sue Marcus. Julia plans to attend Biola University in La Mirada in the fall, beginning with an undeclared major. Anna Christine Mays. Anna will be attending Palomar College in the fall, majoring in business and minoring in photography. Aaron Edward McCann. Aaron will be attending the Universal Technical Institute in Rancho Cucamonga, majoring in diesel mechanics. Caitlin Dawn Pola. Caitlin plans to attend Samford University in Birmingham, Alabama, majoring in nursing. Sean Bradley Ryan. Sean plans to attend Westmont College in Santa Barbara, majoring in physics through the pre-medicine program. Lillian Hope Sanders. Lillian plans to attend the University of Scranton in Scranton, Pennsylvania, majoring in early and primary education. Nicholas Vyacheslav Sanders. Nicholas plans to attend Butte College in Oroville, majoring in communications and field sports marketing. Jesse Marie Solis. Jesse plans to attend Chapman University in Orange, California, majoring in biology. Sierra Ray Vanderpool. Sierra plans to attend Whitworth University in Spokane, Washington, majoring in biochemistry and minoring in Spanish and theater. Eliana Abigail Vanny. Eliana pl plans to attend the University of Alabama and Tuscaloosa, majoring in physics and mathematics with minors in art and liberal arts. Lee Young. 
Lee Young, also known to us as Olivia, plans to attend the University of California, Santa Cruz, perhaps majoring in business or economics. Families and those of us joining us around the world, it is my privilege and pleasure to present to you the newly graduated class of 2020. Despite the late nights of studying, the drama, the endless homework, the start of caffeine addictions, and impossible tests. Don't get me wrong, high school has been awesome, and we're going to remember this time with fondness in the years to come, but it definitely had its moments. Rest assured, with each triumph and defeat you have faced so far, God has been shaping you into the person you are today, graduating. It is such a comfort to know that we have a God that doesn't leave us on our own. And just as God has provided for you every step of the way until now, He will continue to provide in your future. So trust Him. And that is so exciting. I hope you're excited. So as you make plans for the future, remember that God is in control of everything. As you trust Him, He will guide you. And despite your inevitable mistakes along the way, He will bring you where you need to go. In closing, I'd like to share one last bit of encouragement from our class verse, Joshua 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Thank you.